moving retail to the next level. It is the ultimate shopping experience that puts products at your fingertips virtually. CTV Sean Lee Thong explains. You guys made a video game out of cooking. <laughs> We're at an Ikea in Etobicoke and I'm making pancakes, virtual reality pancakes. Careful. As odd as it looks, this could be the next step for IKEA and the future of retail. Virtual reality will allow customers to explore a kitchen and see new furnishing solutions to allow them to plan their kitchen for the future. It's being called V-Commerce. At this IKEA, it's a pilot project and it doesn't just make pancakes. It allows customers to design their very own virtual kitchen and then step inside. Oh, okay, so I see, oh, I see a refrigerator there. It's a lot like what you see when you come into the physical store, but rather than using a tape measure, you get to see your space and make real measurements. When you're actually in the kitchen, it really gives you a good feel for what you've worked on. While IKEA is early to the game, there are a few examples from around the world. Last spring during Fashion Week, Topshop in London, England gave their customers a virtual front row seat on the runway. While down in Australia... Welcome to the world's first virtual reality department store. Retailer Mayer partnered with eBay to bring the feeling of the store to you. You're engaging the customer, and if you can get them more engaged with your product versus a competitor's product, then you have an edge. Steve Tissenbaum from Ryerson University says that this type of engagement represents a shift in the retail landscape where the winners are those who engage in everything from cars to clothing, and the goal is to be one step ahead. Those that do come into the game will be ahead, they'll be first in, and it's quite likely that they'll be the ones that will make money. Grab an egg. And some predict that V-Commerce software Teleport. could top the, the $2 billion nice dollar mark by 2018. So it's quickly becoming more than just a game. Sean Lee Thong, CTV News.